My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Jake, how, how do you do? James, I'm good. It was a Nashville weekend. You can see it from my hat. You can see it from Jimmy's shirt. How are you doing? I'm doing swell. I'm excited from now till the postseason. Baseball Done. playoff races. Let's begin with the sports. Jim, let's begin with the sports today. Uh, and your New York Mets, we do have a blooper of the year, and I want to come in easy on that. It's very Mets, blooper, whatever. This is partially a Rockies blooper, and the Mets have kind of been playing good baseball. So, yeah. nice, guys. Manager of the year for the Mets. M-O-T-Y. Our guy. guy? Mendy. Awesome blooper because it's kind of on the Rockies, too. So, it is an overthrow. A lot of effort to make sure the ball doesn't go in the doorway to the dugout. Because if it goes in there, it's automatically a base. Yeah. They block it from going down there, fumble a little bit, it hits the fence, and then goes down a crack in the fence. And that's just a ground screw mishap. I don't know if you should be punished for that. And we have a lot of connections to that Rockies ground crew. One of our biggest fans, Mike Dudes, he's a ground crew guy, and coming up in floorball. Oh, yeah, team baggage. <laughs> Teammate, who's part of the Rockies ground crew, Paulie. So, uh, yeah, that's on them, because Vientos does the nice little baseball slide, scoop it. He does lose the ball, and it just, loop. And he is so demoralized when it, when it goes through that crack. It's like, you know, you kind of corner a critter. <laughs> Think you're gonna catch it? And all of a sudden, change there. And then it goes under. I was Brad, the critter guy that stole your phone that one time, and he then saved. goes underneath the door. He saved my phone. Spineless back. That's what that felt like. Like ah, oh, all that work and this broken fence costs us a run. This is almost a breakdown. At, well, yeah, a similar situation, but completely different. Another instance where you have a baseball and a fence. See, and a ruling. Now, when I first saw this highlight, here's the highlight. It's uh, a ball. Hits off the wall and then it ends up over the wall. Home run, right? If it hits off a player's head and then goes over, right. that's a home run. And that's what it was called on the field, I believe. They went and watched the replay and it went wall, then hand, then over. And that's a ground rule double. Right. Maybe I have seen this before, but I blanked it out of my brain. Or maybe I've never seen this before, which is always interesting. I think we found a loophole, Jimmers, because if a ball hits the top of the wall and goes over the fence... Ground rule double. Home run. Home run. Okay. <laughs> Tough start. Um, if a ball hits the top of the wall, bounces in play, just fair ball. And they keep running. This ball hits the top of the wall, and then a guy knocks it out of bounds. Yeah. That I don't know. Uh, something feels off about it. It feels like it should be a home run. It should be a new strategy. Like if the ball. Okay. Zach, you come over, be the fence. This is a big demonstration, okay? This is the ball. This is the top of the fence. So we've blown this everything up. This is like out. zoomed in, yeah. Proportionally, we're, we're like... ants. Yeah, we're like, honey, I blew up the kids right now. Or shrunk the kids, it would be. And the ball bounces here. Rick Moranis. And then it looks like it's going to bounce again, right? right? And there's bases loaded, Jake, in a close game. Right. Don't try to grab that ball Just and throw it second. in. Just... No, once you just knock it over, right. that's a ground rule double. Runners have to stop. You just saved a run probably because the guy in first was scoring. He was because fast. if the momentum of the ball was going over, it would be a home run. So if you just get some wood on it, again, it is, it's loophole-y. You should knock that ball out. Knock that ball out. Knock that ball out. Mama said gets you wet. Hmm. Shitty rays. You like that? Never done before. Mm. All right, enough of that. More sports. Is there an ad? Oh, Shady Race. Our, our desk wears them. So should you. Little font. More sports? More sports, Jake. You know what I've been doing. It's my, it's my chess. I'm addicted to chess these days. And Russian chess player Amina Abakarova... Three, Ooh, wait, two, wait, say, one. Let me, let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. I was going to have you try both of these names, actually. Why don't you go for both of them right now? Amina Abakarova. I mean, I kind of laid that one up for you. I couldn't believe how good I got it. But I know, but it's, next it sounded fun when you this, said it. I wanted to get the next one's the trouble. Omega Not Osmanova. Did pretty good there. And it ties into this whole story because AA tried to poison UO. Um, and these two go back. They've been playing chess against each other since they've been kids. And yeah, AA did try to lightly poison UO before the match. And there's video of it. She took some mercury and apparently she asked, are there cameras in this room? And the guy was like, no, do everything you want to do. Great answer, by the way. <laughs> He's a chess official, man. Yeah. So she goes and just rubs mercury all over. Little ballies. And then UO had to quit halfway through because she was feeling faint. Yeah. Now, I did research if there's any benefits to mercury to see if maybe AA was just trying to help out an old friend indiscreetly. It is used to cure syphilis. So that's just a 
a note looking out. Jim, this is not sports, but it's sport for some people. We have an, a situation in space. Barry, Butch, Wilmore, and Sunita Williams. They flew on a Boeing Starliner, which is a brand new spacecraft they're making. They were the first people to ever fly in that to the ISS, International Space Station. Nice, Jim. It was supposed to be an eight-day trip to the ISS, and then they come back. But upon landing, the Starliner had some leaks. Yeah. Now they're stuck there, Zach. Could be eight months now because they don't think they're going to be able to fix this Starliner properly enough at the ISS to send them back. And the catch, the big catch here, Elon and SpaceX may have to come to the rescue because mm. they're sending their, what's it got a cool dumb name? Uh, Eagle Horse. Crew or something like that. Oh, Crew Dragon. Yeah, the SpaceX Crew Dragon. What if a 14 year old invented a company? They are sending that up and it's supposed to be four people and they might ask SpaceX kindly, can you leave two seats empty and bring Butch and Sunita back with you? Right. Big loss for Boeing. Like, Elon's probably like, ooh, yeah, we'll save the day. Political Jim out. Uh, I have good news for you. I know what happens. That's, that's space politics. Jim, what's the one thing astronauts want to do? Be in space. Hello! They did have a quote here that was something like, we're, we're good. It's the, the employee, employee of the week. week. It's the employee, employee of, of week. last week, but more so this week, honestly. It's going to... Tibetan monk. Courtney. Courtney. We got big Fanatics Fest coming up this weekend. Come see us at the Javits Center. We're doing a live talking baseball show. Courtney's been setting all that up. She's been doing an episode of Morning, Morning. once a month. That concludes the show. A lot more. That's all. That's the show. Turn it off, Zach. Turn off the show. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode is brought to you by Shady Rays. Want a big discount? Shady Rays giving you guys a big one. Use code DUMB for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. That's 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. And that offer applies to the custom Jimmy and Jake shades, which I'm wearing right now. It's got my signature on it. It's got the company name on it. It's got pinstripes on the inside. So 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses at Shady Rays. Shout out to Brad the Critter King who saved my phone about 12 years ago. And held it hostage. He gave it back. Y'all into critters? That's what he texted the group chat. <laughs> I got in, all in kinds. Of exotic phone. types. Brad might have created passwords on iPhones. Because <laughs> <laughs> he time. just took my life over for a couple days.